I'm Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales. And you're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. Uh, tonight, Alex, we've got another classic, iconic tequila, and Alex called this. This is, we're, we're looking at Viva Mexico tequila, again from Nome 1414, Feliciano Vivanco and Asociados. Yeah, take a look at that, baby. As you can tell, we've been enjoying it. It's down to the dregs. You've been enjoying it. I've thing. been enjoying it, yes. I'm um, get a swig. Well, you know, the, the, the really interesting thing is this is a, of the flagship of the Vivanco family, and we've had several brands from this distillery. We've had Grand Ovejo, which we love. Yeah. We love. We love the family. I've been to the distillery. Alex hasn't had a chance to visit it yet. These folks are responsible for bringing this tequila in. That's the folks from Pura Vida Tequila. They have acquired the rights for importation uh, of Viva Mexico, which for years has been the flagship tequila of, of the, the family distillery, the Vivanco family. And many of them, many of these names you'll, you'll, you'll recognize. Cabeza Tequila, which we've done just recently on Sipping Off the Cuff. Um, Grand Ovejo, that you mentioned. Siembra Azul, another classic tequila. Um, uh, Nobleza Azul, which is another wonderful brand that comes out of there. Um, you name it, anything that comes out of Known 1414, we're, we're big fans of. Simply because they use a, a method of fermentation that I call the Mozart method. Um, other places will call it the, the Vivaldi method. Um, where what they do is they play classical music, which uh, could Baroque be style. Baroque style or classical, which is uh, they kind of um, dovetail, uh, blend into each other. And uh, it could be anywhere from Mozart to Beethoven to Vivaldi. And these are... are it does amazing things. Yeah, it does amazing <laughs> things. And so what we're doing tonight, the, we're doing the... The yeast, the, the yeast gets happy. The yeast gets happy. Um, uh, one of the distilleries say that the yeast, the, the tequila starts to dance. The tequila is dancing. So tonight we've got the Reposado for uh, Viva Mexico. Again, this has been an iconic brand in Mexico, only available uh, in Mexico for a long time. Nice, nice amber color. Yeah, it's got a light amber color. Again, it's got some nice legs, <clears throat> tears, good viscosity to the tequila. Beautiful color. It's, it's really actually a very, very beautiful presentation on this. Mm, beautiful oh nose. You know, and don't don't be deceived by the bottle. You know, everybody's always looking for the fancy bottle. No, this bottle. Uh, for those of you who are fans of Viva Mexico, you'll you'll notice that the the, the label is a bit different. Uh, this is for the importation purposes. This is a the the United States version of the label uh, that the um, Pura Vida folks have had a chance to uh, redo. For our market here in the U.S., it is different from what you see in Mexico, but it's the same juice. Wow. At 40 ABV. 80 proof. Wow, it's nutty. It's just, there's some nuts in there. There's nuts in there. There's, you, got, you, you got the same roast of agave coming through. So the wood is not, a, not masking at mm -hmm. all. But you got you have some, some, some nutty... Some nuts. Some nuttiness. Besides us two, right? Wow. We have no actual POS material available to us from uh, from those, these folks, but suffice it to say that it's not aged. I would say I would venture to say anywhere from six to eight months. Probably not very long, uh, but just long enough to make it interesting. And the color is beautiful. The legs are gorgeous, and the nose is outstanding. Yeah, you can just tell there's layers upon layers of you know, bouquet in there. This is a complex tequila. Don't be don't be deceived by the bottle. Again, um, this is a, a wonderful flagship tequila for this distillery for a long time. Um, let's go into it. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Just a caramel coats the palate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And it's spicy. But it's, it's very, it's sweet. Yeah, it's spicy. It's just a light, 
light spiciness and it is sweet. It's got the caramel. Yeah, it's, it's got a yellow. caramel. It's got honey in it. I think there's a there's a really it's strong a honey drink. presence. Um, wow, this is beautiful. Wow, it's been a while since I've had the this tequila. It's another winter. Yeah, uh, you know, it was so hard to to find for so long that you could only get it in Mexico and bring it across, right? Now it's available to us in the U.S., wow. but it was still very hard to find. And I'm so grateful to, to these folks for sending us these samples because it, it's just, oh, wow. Amazing. Wow. Like I said before, everything 1414, uh, the Vivanco family touches is just amazing. There's almonds. And it's just, there, there's nuts. There's there's honey. There's caramel. You do get the almonds in there. Yeah, and, and you don't lose the agave presence. You know, they are a fifth-generation distiller. They are also fifth generation agave growers. This is an estate grown agave that is coming to you um, at a much lesser price. The the price points are very reasonable, and and uh, these folks anywhere you find pura vida, you should be able to find um, Viva Mexico. And I tell you what, if you want to experiment with the brand and maybe work your way up, I would say. Get yourself a bottle of this stuff. You will not go wrong. Have it in your bar. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. And I think, you know what? I think this is really conducive to, to cocktails as well. Um, oddly enough, I think that the, the flavor profile of this reposado would would shine and stand out in, in things that would, you would normally use for an añejo. What do you think? You're the cocktail guy, so you tell me. It's got it's got such a good structure to it. It would really shine through. I'd, lo I'd love to try it in an old fashioned. I was going to say that because um, old fashions traditionally are used añejos, correct? Yeah. I would I would definitely it's 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 a, it's a power it's a powerful reposado. Yeah, it's uh it's got, it doesn't lay down uh, and roll over. This no. this one barks at you. <laughs> it sure does. You know, if this were a dog. It would bark at it. Wow. What a, what a great ripple song. Brand of Promise? Yes. Brand of Promise. Legacy. Legacy. Uh, legacy category. Le legacy category for, for Pura Vida. Or, well, for Viva Mexico, who are brought to you by the Pura Vida folks. Um, again, very, very worthy of your uh, <clears throat> looking for it, having it in your bar. Where does, where does somebody find something like this? Well, it's obviously available in Texas to start with. I believe it's also available in, in Southern California. Uh, take a look at the website for Pura Vida, and they should be able to tell you uh, also where you'll be able to find Viva Mexico. Anywhere you can find Pura Vida, you'll be able to find Viva Mexico. And, and I'm so glad that they brought it into the United States because, again, it's a very iconic brand. Probably on, well, you know, on, on the level... Of brands like Tapatio, which you, you may or may have not have seen our podcast on Tapatio Tequila. If you haven't and it's available, look it up, check it out, see us, uh, where we talked about Tapatio Tequila. This is another one of those iconic tequila brands that... Uh, and, and it's such an unpretentious bottle. I mean, it's just, you would never know the amazing tequila that's in this bottle. Do not... Do not judge this tequila by its, its bottle. I'm Mike Morales. I'm still Alex Perez. <laughs> uh, you've been you've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff. I hope you get yourself uh, some Viva Mexico. You will definitely enjoy it. And as always, uh, thanks for watching and sip wisely. <laughs>